Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is gracious and He's good. Hallelujah. It's good all the time. Now this right here, this is a rock. See that rock right there? That's from the Arkansas Hills right there. A lot of people out there in YouTube land and all over the world. That's your great, 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 grandpappy. Right there, that rock. Because you believe a lie. You believe evolution. You believe that the Big Bang Theory, which isn't true. The Bible teaches us that God created the earth in six days. The Bible says that he created everything out of nothing. The Bible says he's coming again to shake the heavens and the earth. And you have to have your heart right with Jesus and be right with him. In the New Age teachings, they believe in the Christ consciousness. And the word Christ means anointing. It means to smear with oil. It, that's what it means, Jesus Christ, the anointed one. In the Hebrew, it's Messiah. It's it's anointing. He's the anointed one, the Lord Jesus Christ, our salvation. But the New Agers believe the lie that they are God, that they can be God. Okay. And the devil in John chapter, I mean in Isaiah 14, that's what he said that he would have sinned, the five I wills of Satan. But the Bible teaches us that God came down. He became a man. He came down. In John chapter 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the original Greek, it reads, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and God was the Word. Okay? And in verse 14 of 1 John, I mean of John 1, it says, and the Word, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hallelujah. And we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bare witness of Him and cried, saying, This was He of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me. Praise God. And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. No man has seen God at any time. No man has seen, has seen God at any time. Hallelujah. The only begotten Son which is in the bosom of the Father, He hath declared Him. See? If you want to know God, the Almighty Creator, Jehovah, Jireh, Hallelujah, our provider. Jehovah Shalom, our peace. Hallelujah. Jehovah Nisi, our banner. Hallelujah. Jehovah Repha, our healer. You must come to Him by Jesus Christ, His main ambassador. His main, hallelujah, only begotten Son, the Almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Eternally begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. You have to come to Him. If you don't feel drawn to Jesus Christ, it's because of your pride and your ignorance and your foolishness. It's because the devil, the God of this world, okay, of the evil forces in this world has blinded your mind. And he's blinded your mind by materialism, by lies taught in the schools, by your pleasures, your covetousness, your pride, your envy, your malice, all the works of the flesh. That's why you don't come to Jesus Christ, because the devil's blinded your eyes. If you feel right now a tug to come and and to repent of your sins and believe the gospel, it's because the Father is being gracious to you. And He's drawing you to His Son. 
in order to save you. And some of you will mock, and you will laugh, and you will scoff, and you will write bad comments on the page. Who cares? God sees your heart. He's got eyes as a flame of fire. See? And when you die, when your life ceases to be, when you take your last breath, you will see him face to face. Then you will have no excuse because you saw this video. And the Bible says that all men have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the Bible says there's only one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You have to come on his terms. You have to repent of your sins and believe the gospel. Believe the good news that God sent his only begotten son. And he died on the tree for you, was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Hallelujah. The religious crowd handed him over to the civil authority. Just what the Roman Catholic Church did during the Inquisitions, and just what they're going to do today here at the end, the religious crowd, the Pharisees and the Christian faith, and in every other religion, is going to hand over the true believer to the civil authorities. But see, God Almighty and Father God is protecting his children. And he's keeping them. And he's giving them the grace to persevere to the end. So you can mock on and you can laugh and you can say that I'm full of it. But I'm not. I'm full of the Holy Spirit, the Almighty God. Hallelujah. He lives inside of me, Jesus Christ. And the Bible teaches me in Second Peter, see, in Second Peter. See, the New Ager says, I am God. That's what they say. I am God. I am God. I am God. That's what they say. See? But you're not God. You're a man. You're made out of dirt. Okay? And God breathed his life into you and gave you a living soul. All souls are mine, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. In Second Peter chapter 1, Peter's talking to us and he's teaching us a great truth. Hallelujah. A great mystery unveiled. Hallelujah. Okay? And he says, Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, hallelujah. He says uh, in 2 Peter 1, 2, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and Jesus and of Jesus our Lord, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things, hallelujah, all things, that pertain unto life and godliness. You want life and godliness? you got to come to Jesus, hallelujah. Through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Hallelujah. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. That by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, through covetousness. Okay. So we can be partakers of the divine nature. Okay. We're not the creator, and we never will be the creator. We were created in God's image after his likeness. See? Let us make man in our image. Us is plural. Elohim. See? And this is the gospel message, that Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, came and dwelt among us and committed no sin, was sinless. No sin. Hallelujah. And people today have the audacity to believe that they don't have any sin, and they're, they're righteous. No, 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 no. Jesus is the righteous one. Paul told us in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 that he is our righteousness and our redemption. Hallelujah. See, otherwise, you just have to end up, you know, like your great, 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 great grandpappy, see? Just a rock, see? But you're not a rock. You're a human being made in God's image. And you have to come to him on his terms. And you have to get right with him. Because that's the right thing to do in order to be saved. In order to be a partaker of the divine nature. Stop believing the lie. The lie that you can be God. You can't be God. You never will be God. You cannot be the Almighty. There's only one Almighty. And he's God Almighty God, Jehovah, Yahweh, hallelujah.